I've never really had a plan. I can remember being 17 and my best friends had plans for their futures, which included a husband and a set amount of kids, puffy prom dresses, and college degrees. It's funny now that even though I truly have no real desire to plan my future, I feel the pressure even more to really have my shit together. My life has had its twists and turns, and every time I've tried to do what's socially accepted, it's failed in some way. I don't think I'd have it any other way, though. I've learned that I have what it takes to get by, and I've learned it hard and fast. The human body can manage almost anything. No matter how fast your heart palpitates and your stomach does flips causing you to stay in a bathroom stall off of I-75 North for over 30 minutes, you'll make it. Really, everything comes down to your own choices and about the life you want to live. Our comforts and what we're familiar with have been so ingrained in us since birth that we take them with us into adulthood and store them in the back of our minds. So if we don't have what's familiar, or even who is familiar, then what? Then there comes the moment for each of us when we are to make the decision to either stick by these comforts and conform to society's way of living or to live more simply in the unknown, embracing uncertainty. No matter all the hardships I've endured, personally or otherwise, I'm grateful for them all. To suffer is inevitable, but each turn of events has its purpose. If we look closely, they teach us something about ourselves. We need the hurt, the pain, the misgivings to stimulate our aspirations that go beyond them. Difficulties, challenges in life encourage us to look more deeply into ourselves. The more deeply we look, the more awareness we have to make the appropriate decisions in order to be happy. Bring attention to your own life. Each and every one of us has our strengths and each and every one of us has our weaknesses. If we learn to humbly embrace our strengths and consciously improve our weaknesses, only good will come out of it. Throwing ourselves into the unexpected doesn't mean to me purposeful ignorance. Although I used to think ignorance is bliss, I still do with some aspects of life. I find myself not watching the news or scrolling through any news feeds online. There is such a fine line between blocking out what doesn't make us feel good and bringing our attention to it. Why don't I like watching the news? I'm sensitive towards negativity, and that's okay. I've become at ease with the unknown, the uncertain, the simple. The more I put myself into the unknown, the more it becomes known. Every day is a day for learning. Sometimes it's okay not to be a factual person. Retaining knowledge from personal experience keeps us conscious of what makes us happy. So don't wish for the future to take you away from the subtle delights. I see myself living this way for the rest of my life. My perspective is that everything is impermanent, so we must endure it bravely. Whether a life unforeseen is desirable or not is a matter of opinion. Whatever your circumstances are, whether you're in a city, by the beach, or in the bush, if it makes you happy and you're doing good in the world, then continue doing what it is that you're doing. At the end of the day, we all strive to be happy. Have the strength to make the decisions you know will benefit your everyday life. 
In the past, I've always been frustrated between if it's meant to be, it will be, and if you want it, go get it. Now there's no longer frustration, just truth. The closer we are to learning about ourselves, the more aware we become of when we need to make the right decision or to simply let go. Each and every one of us is so different when it comes to where we find pleasure and peace. For me, it's not about having a master plan or even a plan B. It's simply making a conscious decision to do what makes me happy. When we are happy, we attract positivity into our lives. And so the ripple effect begins.